To start off this video, I need to uh, replace this uh, spark plug, this broken spark plug. Um, got a new plug here. I need to gap it to 30 thousandths of an inch, which is pretty close. Got a wire gauge here, 30 thousandths wire gauge. Um, it's a little loose, but it's pretty close. If I need to change the uh, gap, I can use this tool here to uh, bend this uh, ground electrode. Um, I can go either way. I can open it and make it bigger, or I can close it. And uh, get it to the right um, width so this 30 thousandths wire gauge will just fit inside. And it's right there. Now I can uh, remove this old plug which I loosened up last time. Get that out of the way. Uh, remove the other hat part of the plug from the plug cap. Then install the new plug. And I don't know what the torque spec should be on this plug, um, but if you don't know that, you can use this as a general rule. Uh, finger tighten the plug, and then tighten it one half turn. And that should be enough to uh, tighten it so that um, heat's able to transfer from the plug to the cylinder head so you don't, uh, you get good heat transfer. And that's it. With our spark plug attached, we can we can check the ignition system. A uh, way to do that with if you don't have any uh, special tools to check the ignition is remove this uh, plug cap and expose the metal part of this uh, spark plug wire. And hold the uh, spark plug wire three sixteenths of an inch away from the spark plug. And I'll measure that for the video. Uh, it's about right there. And when I pull the engine over, I should get a, a, an orange-blue spark that jumps from the end of this plug wire to the spark plug. Uh, the only problem with doing it this way is because I have the plug installed, um, I'm going to have compression in the engine, so it's going to be kind of hard to turn over and hold this plug wire at the same time. And um, also, it's easy to get uh, a shock this way, so make sure you don't grab the, the plug wire by the, any, the metal end, end here, otherwise you'll get a shock for sure. Uh, grab it somewhere uh, along the insulation here and hold it that 3 16 of an inch away from the plug and pull the engine over. And hopefully you can see that in the video. Um, I did get a spark, a blue spark from the end of the plug wire to the spark plug so our ignition is good. And I can reinstall this cap on the spark plug wire. And that's good to go. Now that I have the uh, ignition and plug squared away, I need to uh, focus on the fuel system. Uh, if the, the lucky thing is that the last person to use this mower didn't leave any gas in the fuel tank, so uh, the, the tank is relatively clean. Um, if they had left any any fuel in the tank, it would probably be still, and I'd have to dump it out and flush it out. Uh, I'm going to do that anyway for the sake of the video. Um, so I need to take the the tank off. Need to remove the uh, dipstick, um, pull this off, and in order to uh, remove the tank, I need to um, take this handle off of the pull cord. And on this particular pull cord, uh, there's a staple holding the uh, rope into the in the handle. So I need to remove this staple and uh, pull this out. Pull the cord out of the handle and then um, take a pair of vice grips and hold on to the clamp it onto the rope so that the rope doesn't uh, go back into the starter assembly. That should hold it there. To make it easier to uh, get the fuel line off and to uh, take the flow bowl off the carburetor to see if it's dirty, um, I'm going to remove the carburetor. Uh, take that cover off. There's your air filter. 
Um, normally, if I wasn't making this video, um, the, like I said, the fuel tank is clean. Uh, I would probably, uh, just for the sake of time, uh, put some fresh gas in there and try and start it. But just for the video, I'm gonna I'm gonna do all this extra because it's easier to show it on the video to take all this stuff off. There's a there's two bolts holding on this uh, air filter assembly. I can pull this off. Move it out of the way. I'm going to remove this shroud to make it easier to get to the, the governor linkages that connect to the carburetor uh, to remove those. And there's also a bolt holding on this um, dipstick uh, conduit. I need to remove that. And then there's uh, two bolts. Um, behind here holding on the shroud. With all that stuff out of the way, we can uh, remove the bolts that hold the carburetor on. There's a gasket in between this intake manifold and the uh, cylinder, so you want to be aware of that. Um, you should probably replace it with a new one. But uh, you can get away with reusing the old one if it's not torn or in bad shape. Um, I'm going to remove this kill switch wire. Pull that out. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, there's a clip holding on the fuel line that's just like this one on the carburetor. I'm going to remove that. I can't show it on camera because it's kind of an odd angle. And I'm going to remove the fuel line. Pull that off. With the gas tank off, I'm going to take some fresh water and flush this out. Um, probably not necessary. I mean, it looks fairly clean, but I'm just going to make sure it's clean, make sure that fuel line water comes out of it. and then let that dry. Now I can, uh, I'm going to remove this float ball. Um, I'm going to tilt the carburetor up and I'm going to be, be careful not to bend these uh, governor linkages here. And I'm going to remove this float ball and see if there's any gas left in this. Um, hopefully there wasn't. There's just a bolt at the bottom half inch that holds this on. 
and uh, I can smell old fuel. I think there's a little bit of gas in here. Um, yeah, there is. Uh, uh, there's not much. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, clean out this float bowl and uh, um, and then reassemble this in the next video. Um, and I'll try and start this uh, this mower. I'm not going to do a complete carburetor uh, cleaning and, and uh, rebuild. I don't think I'm going to have to. I think it will start. But in the next video, I'll go ahead and reassemble this, clean this out as much as I can, and and uh, try and start this mower and put everything back together. Uh, hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.